just because Windows 11 came out and Microsoft is telling you to chuck away your old laptop doesn't mean you should. So today I'm going to show you how to install Linux Ubuntu on your computer. Let's get into it. Fun fact, Linux Ubuntu actually takes its name from an African traditional concept called Ubuntu. That's how it's actually pronounced. And what Ubuntu means is I am because we are. And for me, Linux represents that ideology 100%. So this laptop that I'll be upgrading today is a Mesa or Monsieur, however you pronounce that laptop. Um, I got it about 2023 and I started using it properly in 2024. And one thing, one critique I have for it is the battery died like literally in a year, but it's refurbished. It's refurbished. Um, yeah, the Wi-Fi module died also. Like there's just a lot going on with this laptop. I got a, I got a battery replacement, but the problem was the battery was a bit too big. But I was desperate. I needed to use a laptop at the time, and I just got that bigger battery. And I literally cello taped the back. Can you see that cello tape? I literally cello taped the back of this laptop. Um, yeah, it was refurbished. I understand, but uh, that shop, man. I don't know. Should I name and shame them? Comment down below. Or oh, I'll actually I'll run a poll. Should I name or shame or should I just know what? Leave it, leave them, leave them. Name or shame or leave them. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to the Ubuntu website, official website. And when you get there, get the LTS lifetime support desktop Ubuntu image. So it says desktop, but you can still apply it to your laptop, you know, so it's just a naming thing. But download that. Now, once the download is complete, I want you to head over to Rufus, select your appropriate target device, select the ISO you just downloaded, and pretty much you don't have to change anything much, and just hit the start button and it should begin flashing your drive. Now, once your USB is ready and it has Ubuntu installed onto it, I want you to use either one of these two methods. One, I'll call it the short key method, and two, we'll call it the advanced startup method this will allow you to enter your bios and in your bios you'll be able to select the usb that you want to boot linux from you know on the target machine that you want to upgrade so i'd say the advanced setup one is if you're going from windows 10 to linux and then the bios method is for people that literally have nothing on their system and they just want to boot from the flash drive and I believe that from this point, it's it's a pretty intuitive installation and you should just follow the on-screen prompt and you'll be good to go. This has been Captain Bridge. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll catch y'all later. Danko.